Hello, my guys. This is Kimmy Lo, and I'm back with Pokemon Sun and Moon Anime Episode 7. Um, this one was really good, guys, because I'm going to tell you like this. I know I talk about the games every time I do a uh, review, but the games are not heavily, the games are heavily applied here in the anime as well when it comes to the development of the Pokemon. And this one with uh, Litten, this one was a really good one because as the Pokedex described, that you know this is a lonely on uh, this is a long pokemon and this pokemon you have to uh you have to show it trust and it has to trust you so it will take a while before you get a chance before this pokemon will actually trust you that being said that's what this whole episode was about and it was intriguing because as you see ash leaving the house get ready to go to the school and Litten shows up. And now this is the Litten that wanders around the marketplace. So the Litten is wonder, you know, comes and he meets up with Ash. And so, you know, the Rotom Dex actually, you know, records the the data for uh as we know is Nebby. But he uh records everything and tells Ash that he's the fire the fire cat Pokemon. So Ash was deciding to go ahead and feed him because he thought he was hungry. So he pulls out a sandwich and breaks him off a piece, but yet Litten takes the whole entire sandwich. <laughs> and he's and Ash grabs him by the tail and tries to get it back, but then yet he's um scratch he gets some scratches all over. So Pikachu tries to, you know, thunderbolt him, but then yet end up thunderbolting uh Rotom and Ash at the same time, and so Linton gets away. Sad that he lost his sandwich. You know, we see Litten is uh, trying to get the sandwich away. And as we see, he gets confronted by a little Lolan, um, an Alolan Persian. Now, I know everybody say this Pokemon is ugly. And God knows it's true. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I when I caught mine, I named him Dirt. Because he, because a lowland, um, a lowland Persian does look derpy. I don't know. You guys, let me know how y'all feel about a lowland per, uh, Persian. Because to me, he looks derpy. So I named mine derp. And he comes and start bullying Litten, and Litten, you know, tries to, you know, he takes the sandwich from Litten. Litten goes ahead and try to, you know, do a uh, an ember, but the ember wasn't strong enough, and he, what was so funny is Persian threw the sandwich in front of the Dane Blasted uh, Ember and burnt the sandwich. I was like, well, dang. So, yeah, I mean, after that, Litton turns around. I mean, he just barked at him and Litton turned and ran. Oh, poor Litton. Poor Litton, you know. It was so sad to see that. And then, actually, you know, he goes off and charge at a bunch of Spiro. But then we come to see that he goes back to his trainer and, you know, she, uh, she turns around and asks him, have you been wandering around? Of course he has. He's been, you know, bullying this little who has not, hasn't done anything to him. But yet he feels like he should bully. But then after that, you know, Ash goes to school and uh, Mallow and uh, Lana are talk, uh, ask him, have he seen that Litten? And he was like, why do you know him? And so they tell him that, yes, the, uh, he gives you this cute little face. And, you know, he tells you, well, he shows you he's hungry. And, you know, he was like, yeah, he took my whole sandwich and only left me with a piece. And he always said, well, what are you going to do about it? And he says, I'm going to go catch him. So everybody looks like, wow. So actually, we get a um, scene with Team Rocket. They are so like really not working, guys. They are actually on. They're off today, so they're actually having. They're eating some of the berries. I don't know if those uh, if that was an apple berry or something, a berry that we don't know yet. But it would look like it was really crunchy and good. So they actually was eating it as they were, you know, introducing themselves. Once they introduced themselves, they had got down to the last one, and I think it was one left, and they go to get, you know, go to get it. 
But Litton got it, and he counted, and he was running. So Meow tried, you know, tried to get it back, and you know, Litton hits him with a ember, burning him up. And so Ash sees him running down the street, and you know, uh, Rotom Dex, uh, Rotom tells the professor that he'll explain what's going on because him and uh, Ash were going grocery shopping, and they were on their way back to the house. But then, you know, that's when they turned off and started running. So he said, okay, I'm going to uh, let you know what's going on. So they find out what, so they go to the lady and the lady has been feeding him. And she tells him, you know, you got to be patient. And you know that this Linton is a very good Pokemon as he goes off to in the direction of his home with the orange berry. So he goes to the, um, he goes to his place he finds out that, I mean, well, we find out that it's an old abandoned house where a Stoutland is um, living. And the Stoutland looks very old, but it's, um, but, you know, it's like a protector to Lytton. So Lytton is trying to keep him, you know, fed. So he brings in the orange berry and the Stoutland eats it. So they go outside and Stoutland is teaching, um, Row I mean, not Rowlet. Oh, I love Rally, but Linton is um out there showing him that he, you know, has been practicing his, you know, ember. So he goes to blow an ember, and Stoutland was like, "No, you need to do it again. You got it. Got to come from within." So basically, Stoutland is trying to be his trainer on how to use his ember attack. So. He does it, but it's not the way he wants it, but it is getting stronger, as you can see. So the next day, as Ash is leaving school, well, no, I, I'm i sorry, guys. Let me backtrack. Uh, Litton has a dream, and it quickly turns into a nightmare. Litton is getting all of, uh, he has so many scratches on him as he was walking. And as he was walking, he actually gets, um... He actually gets caught by these little ghost spirits. Then Stoutland was there taking him through the air. And next thing you know, uh, he gets the Stoutland disappears and he falls to the ground. And Stoutland looks like he was dead. I know, so morbid, so quickly into Pokemon, right? So <laughs> he gets, so he wakes up and he sees him there. Now, Ash sees him the next day, and he goes off uh, after he leaves the school. He sees him being attacked by Persian again. So, him and Pikachu, well, first, Ash didn't know what the Pokemon was. And um, Rotom Dex tells him it is uh, Persian. He was like, Persian? He was like, that's not how Persian looks. And he was like, so De the Rotom Dex tells him, you are used to the Cantonian uh, Persian which looks like this, and this is the Alolan form of um, Persian. So he was like, oh, wow. So he finds out he's a dark type. So he goes down and tries to save, um, he tries to save Litten from um, from the Persian, which he's already getting attacked. So Pikachu used Electro Ball, well, no, Electro Ball first, but he dodges. And I think he uses Dark Pulse. So Dark Post misses them. So Pikachu uses Thunderbolt and <laughs> it sees him running. Now, with his pride, Linton doesn't want no help from Ash or Pikachu. So he basically tries to get up and walk himself, but he passes out. Ash tries to get the berry and try to help him. And Linton bites him and he takes it. And I mean, this little thing, he's just so... Oh, poor Litten. But anyway, Ash picks him up and said, we're going to the Pokemon Center. So he takes him to the center. And, you know, Litten is trying to leave. Ash takes him back to the professor's house and tells him, you got to rest. So he finally, you know, kind of trusts him a little bit, but not by much. And he grabs the berry and he tries to run while everybody is asleep. So, um, Rotom gets up and tells Ash that, you know, Litten is gone, is running. So, Ash puts his clothes on, ugh, still drop, I mean, still knocked out. He runs and try to, you know, they try to find out where he's going. So, when they find out where he's going, they find out he goes to this little house. And when he goes to the house, is that's where, um, 
that's where they found the stoutland and he they find out that's what Lee Tim had been doing was feeding the stoutland come to find out that they've been followed by that Persian so the Persian comes in and he tries to you know take you know he comes in and start trying to um take over as usual they go outside and start a battle so at this point Stoutland is too old to try to battle and Ash protects him so Pikachu uses Thunderbolt but it misses and um at this point this is where Litton and Stoutland comes together and Litton learns how to you know dig into his you know dig into his insides to bring out the most powerful um ember that it could and once it did he demolished that persian like it wasn't nothing so at the end you know he found you know he trusts ash a little more but not by much still but he goes over to stoutland to tell him thank you so the next day ash he goes to take food to the uh to the stoutland but they were no longer at the house guys this is kind of sad <laughs> it was sad but you know, uh, Ash is moping around the uh, town, and the old lady takes one of the berries and cut it in half and tell him, "You need to be patient. Just wait. He'll come back." And all of a sudden, he does come back. He grabs the berry. He runs, and Ash, um, Ash says he will see him later. So, guys, this episode was really good. What I like about it is that he didn't catch this. Um, he didn't catch. Litton right away. I want to know if you guys think he will catch this Litton. If this is going to be the particular Litton that he catches, or um, because right now is no need for him to catch um, or get a second capture at the moment. But you guys tell me how you feel about the whole situation. And I will see y'all Thursday with the next episode of Pokemon Sunny Moon. Alola, guys.